Guy, which is my favorite quick service restaurant on property. And we, we're actually sharing because we've eaten a lot today. Got my drink. And they, so what they're doing differently here is they are having someone, uh, like a employee, fill your drink for you, hand them your receipts, and they, you tell them what you want, and they give it back to you on a table so they, they're not handing you something. Um, so that is different. And uh, Mom and I are just sharing our favorite thing here, which is the bourbon bacon barbecue sandwich. It is delicious. It has kettle chips on it. It's got um, a bunch of different sauces, bourbon barbecue sauce being one of them. And we just got the fries, which are delicious. And then my favorite sauce to dip the fries in is garlic parmesan. So we're going to dig in. Uh, one of my favorite things about Chicken Guy is they do this. It's a knife that you pop out of a fork. It's one piece. Interesting. Okay, so this is a bourbon barbecue sandwich. It's got... It is the messiest sandwich of all time. It's got chicken tenders, of course. It's got kettle chips, slaw, bourbon uh, barbecue sauce, um, special sauce, and a beautiful brioche bun. I don't even like slaw on sandwiches, but I will eat it on this. And again, messiest sandwich of all time, but dig in. I miss this so much. It also has pickles on it. Guy Fieri eats violently on anything that he does. There's a reason. It's because all this food that he eats and consumes, plus what he makes, this is Guy Fieri's restaurant, is violently to be eaten because it's massive and messy. So I'm going to devour this because I've missed it so, so much. I'm going to have some fries and the best sauce ever, garlic parmesan. And then I'm going to do that. So cheers. Chicken Guy. It's a very simple restaurant. It's just chicken tenders, and then they make the chicken tenders into sandwiches, into salads, and then you can just have chicken tenders. But they have a few sides, and the side that most people get is the fries, and they are... They're french fries, seasoned french fries, and uh, they're perfect. And even better in the garlic parmesan sauce. It's a thick sauce. Like salad dressing kind of thing. And order for Matthew. They also bring you food to your table when you eat it to here. Super simple. That hasn't changed. They've done that the whole time. And the only thing different is how they do the drinks. And it's always it's still just as delicious. This is again one of my favorite places on property to eat. It's cheap. Um, for Disney property, and I think just in general, when you say it's generally like even for at home, so it's like a pretty average meal. I think it's like eight bucks. How much did we pay? Twelve dollars for a huge sandwich, a big side of fries, and a like medium drink that's refillable. Delicious, as always. The sandwich is not heavy, even though it seems heavy because of the bourbon barbecue sauce. It's very light. Um, but it's definitely shareable if you're not that hungry but still want to try it. The slaw is nice and crispy and fresh. The sauce is amazing. Guy Perry is the boss of sauce. So that's what's on the cup. The boss of sauce. And there's a reason. There's 27 to choose from. Some are spicy, some are sweet, some are savory. And uh, you can try them all if you want. They're 25 cents after the first two, so make sure you remember that. But they're worth trying and very interesting sometimes. <laughs> um, there's a wasabi honey one that some people love and some people hate. It's a love-hate relationship on that one. So, I'm just going to dig in and enjoy the rest of my fries. One out of ten Guy Fieri's. How many Guy Fieri's is there? Ten Guy Fieri's. Wow. A lot of Guy Fieri's. That's a literal nightmare. But, mm, that garlic parmesan sauce. It's so good, y'all. It's got chicken tenders as well. And, if you're just a little bit hungry, come here. They have a two tender. Grab some tenders, grab some sauce. Just try it out. It's so good. I cannot, like, express that enough to you. It's something I crave at home, and I wish they had one in town. And I literally want to run here every single time. I think we come here every single time the day we get here. We always come to Chicken Guy. No matter what. It is absolutely delicious, as always.
I hope you guys do try this. It's at Disney Springs in the landing area and right across from the Coca-Cola um, store, Planet Hollywood. It's very accessible from the bus. It's like through the passage and across from the pig puck as well. So you have a lot of options here, but they have their own outdoor seating. They're also expanding. Um, they're trekking over the Planet Hollywood store. They're expanding their inside seating as well. There's only a few tables right now inside, but they're expanding it, which is gonna be great for them because they are growing so much because it's so delicious and very underrated. And um, I cannot recommend guy like chicken guy enough because it's the top of the top. Top quick service of all time. And I'm going to devour the rest of these fries, like I said. And then we're going to walk around Disney Springs and walk this off, even though it wasn't that heavy. We shared a sandwich, and it was definitely shareable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if you guys were interested in what chicken guy is like. Um, especially during COVID, they are doing a really good job of distancing tables as well. They have uh, distanced their tables like pretty far out, all the way to playing at Hollywood's uh, doors. So there's a lot of outdoor seating as always, but they're pretty distant, which is nice. And uh, I hope this was helpful during this weird time, and also during not this weird time, if you're watching this after the weird time is over, which I hope is soon. But if not, um, definitely come here. It's outdoors. It's really, like, it's a beautiful night, even though it's hot in September. It's not as humid during the day, so it's always really nice. It's shaded with a lot of trees. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, turn on that bell notification so you know about every single time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, be a beautiful human. Bye.